Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 1724 Northeast Orchard Avenue here in McMinnville. We're located at the front of the home. We're just off to the left of the front doorway, right by the hose bib. We have a four inch ABS clean out as our point of access. I'm gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Here we go. It's went through a very, very minor amount of standing water. That's likely going to drain out to about a sixteenth of an inch, which is nothing concerning at all. It transitions here to 3034 PVC pipe, still four inch in diameter. And here at 66 feet, we have reached the main lateral connection. I'm going to do low case just to verify where the line terminates, and then we'll let the pipe drain out completely before reeling back. I'll locate the camera head successfully out in the main lateral on Northeast Orchard. Line pretty much has a total straight shot from the clean out out to the main. We'll give it just a minute longer here to completely drain out. Alright, we're going to go ahead and reel the camera back in here. Looks like we have some very, very minor standing water. You can see that my camera's moving around. That's like a 30 second of an inch or less. That is nowhere near needing any type of repair at all. And most of this PVC pipe here, not that it needs repair anyway, but uh, once you hit the uh, sidewalk or the curb here in McMinnville, the city takes responsibility for the line. PVC pipe there looks good. Another really rinky dink little belly here that is of no concern at all. Anything that will clog up there is going to clog anywhere else in the line. It, just, it, it might as well be nothing. Those are just some cobwebs hanging down. Let's go to the back of the clean out here. I'll reverse direction to run the camera back inside the house as far as we can take it. All right, we're back to the clean out here. We've got great flow all the way to the main lateral. ABS and PVC portions of the line we just scoped there are all in good condition. That portion of the sewer line is functioning properly at this time. Looks like we're going back into original cast iron pipe here. Looks like we've got some scale here in the in the flow line, not a whole lot though. One thing to keep in mind with cast iron, it's a, it's a it holds up for quite a long time. Um, it, like any other material out there, will wear out slowly but surely. So keep that in mind if you're here long enough. It's one of those deals that inevi inevitably will have to be replaced. And we've got kind of a a ridge here that's collect, you know, and it, it, it's hard to tell if it's scale buildup right here. I'm looking at this kind of trough 
in the pipe. I'm not seeing much in the way of standing water. Usually when the flow line starts to wear out, and that's where it will always wear out on cast iron slowly but surely, um, you'll get standing water in that in those areas, and I'm not seeing that in this circumstance. And that's the end of the line there. That's where the, uh, looks like where the main vent goes up. Anyway, the, the tricky part with cast iron pipe is, is telling the difference between scale and the actual pipe material wearing thin. Um, that there is looking more like debris that's built up on the sidewalls. But it's not like a concrete where you have aggregate rock to look at where you, it's very obvious when the pipe starts to wear thin. Cast iron is much trickier that way. As best I can tell there, that appears to just be scale buildup. Which you can jet out of the line. Um, you have to be careful. Over the years, these lines will develop a, a layer of scale on the inside of them. And you can actually knock a ton of it loose and it can be very difficult to get out of the line. Now, for that reason, at this point, I'm not going to recommend a hydrojet. Uh, unless you can get a drain clean company that can guarantee they'll get every little bit of scale out of there. At this point, I don't see any debris at all in the line. Just it looks like some scale that's, that's kind of collected there. But no toilet paper buildup or anything of that nature. It looks like we still have adequate flow throughout the crawl space there. Now, and you can look at the pipe edge right there, how thick that is. Now, if that was wearing thin, that, that, that edge of that pipe there would be thinned out at this point, and it's not. So here's just be some scale. At this point, I don't recommend jetting it. You can end up making things worse that way. And it also is very hard on the cast iron pipe. Um, you can, might be able to bust it loose with an auger, but again, it, you, unless you have a g real good reason to clean that thing, I generally don't recommend putting implements down cast iron unless you've got a, a, a pretty serious blockage situation going on. Now, we've got good flow all the way out, all the way throughout the line here. Cast iron pipe appears to be in good shape as well. The sewer line is functioning properly at this time.